I'm going to install a Fiat electrical. It's a flat panel under cabinet light. Really sleek design. It's going to go in like this. I got to open this and then get the cable out, the cord. And if you look under here, there's an old one. I got to cut this off and have it fit uh, and connect it because this is a hardwired light. But got an on off. And I think it has multiple modes. A selectable white color, that's nice. You can chain them together. I think you can control them together also. Wall demo 50 foot range, low profile. Wirelessly control up to 100 fixtures, so it's it's got a, a smart function to it. Which I'm not necessarily going to use, but I'm gonna try it out. And if you want to link them, if they were side by side, you'd use this cable coming out of here. One of them has to have power, and then they'll all power each other. Okay, these are other, other types of systems. Okay, so there's really not much to it. I've installed these before. So let's take it apart and disassemble. Okay, I'm going to turn the power off in a second. I'm going to take this. And put it up underneath here, mark these spots with a little hole, and that tells me where to drill. Mount the light. I took this little bracket off, there's one little screw, and now I have to remove the knockout so that I get the cable out. So that means just turn this. There you go, that came out. Okay. Now, I'm going to install clamp connector so this keeps the cable from pulling out all the way. And if you look at this picture here, the little nut, the little notch is up, so the nuts on the outside. So this goes here. It's going to be on the outside, and then my hardwired cord is going to get connected and clamped down on there. Here's the existing system. It has a little cover here, and it had a plug that would go one way or the other. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this one in here and cut this wire on this end and connect it. But I'm going to plug this back up in here and reuse this. And then cap this side off. That way I don't have to mess with the internals. Huh. That didn't come out right. Oh, I don't I have a different cap for that side. Okay, so I'll cut this wire. I'll cut this wire here and get the two lines in the ground and just connect it. Otherwise I have to make a special wire. Okay. Cut this guy. Okay, I've got this support. These cables here, you have to connect to these cables, but the little twist-ons look like they stay outside of this box. Um, oh no, looks like they go on the inside. That's good because I have to I have to push them I have to push them back in this hole so it's all hidden. So I'm gonna pull these lines back through, push this through here, and put the tie-ons and pack it all in there. Okay, 
I have the ground coming in. This ground's attached. I'm not sure if the ground goes underneath here or if I attach this, which I think I'm going to do is I put that underneath there. Oh, here's the wire. Oh, it, yeah. Okay, I found the other cap. That's why they have three caps. Okay, I have it assembled electrically and got it plugged in. So I'm going to test this to see if it works before I mount it all the way up. Okay, we got the power breaker turned on. Let's turn the light switch on. Ooh, it works. Shut this off. Cycling through the different shades of light. Okay, I have to pull some of this white cord back out because there's not, wasn't enough room to put an inch of the cord down in there. So this will give it a little more space. Yeah, something else to remember. These ground wires probably have to face a different way. But okay, I got all the wires in. I had to move the ground wire because it was sticking out to the side. I had to reorient it. And then I had to pull some of this white wire out. And then it just fits in there. Fairly snugly, but once you put this little tab down in, everything sort of pushes, pushes down in there. And okay, here we go. Let's double check that it still works. Okay, shut it off again. Yeah, I got the template up. It's a little awkward given the way my counters are. So I just I put it up there and I put a couple staples in each end. Then I marked it with a marker so I could actually see the mark in the wood. So what I had to do is I had to move the edge of this off of the under of the counter. Most of my lights are almost right up because I, it was too hard to get the light in there. You have to put it in and then slide it so the light stays on the screws. So I move the back about a quarter of an inch, but anyway, I got it up there. I think you can see it. And now I'm gonna mount that wire up there. Okay, I got it installed. It was a little difficult to get the screws and get that to slot on. Um, I would, you know, it seems like they would put a little tab here and then have the screw come in here, but in any case, here's the modes again. You have on off and dim button. Cycle through the levels high, medium, low, dim off. So let's do that. High, medium, low, dim off. Back on high. Now we cycle through the temperature 27, 3000, 35, 4000, 5000 K. 
by pressing the CCT button. So that's the second button here. Good one. Really nice. And then I thought there was Wi-Fi. It's not, but you can if you're chained together and you hold that button three seconds, then all the fixtures in the group will be programmed at the same time. And then if you want to just do one, you hold the CCT for three seconds again and uh, do them, program each light themselves. So not too bad of an install. Had to make sure the wires cut correctly and had that align. This part of it was real easy. Pushing everything in, I had too much white cord, had to cut back. Had to make sure that ground wire was not pointed to block the little tab from sliding in. Putting that on was easy. That was a little bugger. It should have a little magnetic screwdriver. I finally got my drill and used it. Um, not a big deal. Lining up the template, not a deal. I did staple it. But when you finally push it up there, uh, like I said, it'll take so you, you can one once one catches the other one will catch and you slide them back. So if I take this lamp and pull it forward, it's going to pop out. Um, so degree of difficulty of B, just because it, it takes a little time to get that right. It's not difficult; it's just a little awkward. Everything else works right. I didn't have to rewire my existing system, and I'm proud. I'm glad of that. So I didn't have to pull all that out. Looks good. I got the cap to put on that one to block the power. So very nice light. Fiat, or Fiat electric under cabinet flat panel. Super bright. I like this because it got rid of those halogen lights that I have, which are very exp expensive to replace.